you gotta have a porch swing. Which we did, though it wasn't a very good one. Dad was keeping a watchful eye on us, but as any parent will tell you, the worst things always happen when you turn your back for just a moment. And when Dad wasn't looking, I managed to climb up on this porch swing. I stood up on it, and I guess in my three-year-old mind, I thought I was on one of those playground spring horses, so I began rocking it back and forth. And apparently, I was not holding back. Your girl was chasing bandits in the Wild West somewhere, I don't know. Now, remember how I said this wasn't a very good porch swing? Well, good porch swings are designed so they can't flip over. But this one... Well... <laughs> Dad heard my screams and he ran over in a panic. He lifted me up off the ground and there was nothing but blood. I had bitten through my top lip, which left this handsome little scar later, and the force of the fall had pushed my front teeth back and up into my head. Without a moment to lose, Dad grabbed me and Rachel, threw us into the back of the car, and sped off to the hospital. Rachel sat next to me the whole ride, holding my head back so I wouldn't bleed on everything, and being only five years old herself, naturally she was freaking out, and Dad was even more distraught, feeling like the worst father in the world. But as he quietly panicked to himself, all of a sudden he heard from the back seat, A McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had a car, E-I-E-I-O. Well, I guess that's what you call more rebound than a kickball. Though I don't think Dad appreciated the musical number. When we got to the hospital, the doctors ended up having to push my teeth back into their original position, but these teeth were pretty much destroyed. Oh, and when Mom showed up to the hospital, she said Dad was covered in blood and looked like that he'd lost a fight with an angry cat. Ah, poor Dad. <laughs> there wasn't anything more that the doctors could do at the hospital, but we still had to wait two weeks for me to heal before I could see a dentist. And what the dentist ended up having to do was give my front two teeth a root canal and then fill it with a compound so it would stay in my head until my permanent teeth were ready to come in. You know, I'm actually really glad that I don't remember any of this. I'm already insane in the membrane enough as it is. Who knows how bad I'd be today if I had to carry around this childhood trauma with me. The whole ordeal had basically killed my front two teeth, and they turned yellow. Also, the next tooth over needed a half metal crown on the back of it, and given that teeth are translucent, that made the tooth look green. So yeah, for the next few years of my childhood, I was walking around with yellow and green teeth. Just look at this jacked up mouth of mine. I think I had these teeth until I was about six or seven, and as you can imagine, such a blow to the face not only messed up my baby teeth, but my permanent teeth came in wonky as well. In fact, when I went to the orthodontist to get braces in middle school, she discovered I